Hey everyone, it's Charlene. Today I'm going to share how I made this card using some of the brand new products from Honey Bee Stamps that are releasing tomorrow. I'm starting out here with the Lovely Layers April Showers. You can create all kinds of beautiful scenes with this die set. I've cut out the three pieces of the umbrella and I'm going to color them with an all over light pink. Next, I'm going to bring in the brand new Belux Detail Blending Brushes. These come in three different sizes. Right now I'm using size 10 and I'm just making sure to get a good amount of shading on the bottom of the main piece of the umbrella. Next, I'm going to go around the edges of the middle piece. Now this is going to be the top of the umbrella. And then I'm going to come in with the edge of that detail brush and I'm going to color along the lines that are embossed by the die cut. I'm using the size seven brush to do that. Next, I'll go all the way around the top piece of the umbrella. And then again, for the largest piece, I'm going to come in with that smaller detail brush and I'm going to get right along those lines that are in the umbrella. The handle is made of two different pieces, so I'm going to color the long part there in a nice dark brown, and then the piece that goes over the handle there, I'm going to color that in the same pink that I used for the umbrella. Now I can glue everything together. You can see that nice layering guide up in the corner there. I love that Honey Bee Stamps does these. They are available on the website. And I've put down the stem and handle here. I'm attaching the handle and then I can come in next with the middle sized piece and that's going to go right along the top of the umbrella. I did add some adhesive foam squares to the back here so it will have a little bit of lift and make it look very 3D. I think this is such a fun umbrella. You could even use this alone on the front of a card and I think it would look really neat. Lastly, I've got the smallest piece and that goes right over that top center piece there. And so that's going to glue right in to add some more depth and dimension here. I decided to come back in with the detail brushes and just add some shading again with that darker pink color around the edges, along the embossed areas. It just really brings the piece to life. Next, I've got the cute little rain boots here. I'm going to color these all in a nice light bright yellow and then I'm going to bring in the number 10 detail brush here with a slightly darker shade of yellow. I'm going to go along the bottom of the main boot pieces and also along the kind of top side of the secondary piece of the boot. You're going to see I'm going to glue that on here right now. These are really easy to put together because they're slightly different sizes so you can't kind of mix up anything you'll be able to tell real quickly what pieces glue on top of what piece I love that about these die sets so once I have those glued and layered up I'm going to bring in some more of that darker yellow color just going all the way around the edges of the boots and along the bottom I'm not shading the top just the sides and the bottom now I'm going to put together three tulips here. I'm starting out with my lightest pink and I'm going really light on the tiniest piece, a little bit darker on the next piece, and then I'm going to bring in the next darkest shade of pink ink. Again, light on this next piece and then dark on the final piece. So I'm only using two different colors of ink, but I'm getting a light to dark using those colors of ink. So again, tiny piece, just a little bit of ink with the light purple. The next piece, I'm gonna go a little darker with that purple, bring in my next darkest shade of purple ink and do the same thing there. I'm gonna do the same thing in blue for the final tulip. We'll go light, then just a little bit darker with that same ink on the second piece and then bring in the darker shade of blue and we will go light with the next piece and then completely dark with the last piece. Hopefully that makes sense as you are watching it here as I'm putting it all together. I think this is a great way to get more out of your inks because you're only using two ink colors per flower, but you're gonna get a lot of beautiful color in the finished product. Layering the tulips is really easy. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue where I know the smallest piece is going to go and then I can use my wax pickup tool for that. Then I can pick that piece up, add some glue to the back and adhere it to the next piece and so on and so forth. 
And you can see up there with that layering guide, there's lots of different kinds of flowers in this set other than the tulip. So you could do a bouquet of all kinds of different flowers, or you could choose like I did here just to do one kind of flower or anywhere in between. There's also that sweet little bird, which I'm not going to be using in today's card, but I love it. I think it's very cute. Now, again, to add a little bit more depth and dimension, I'm coming in with the darker of the two ink colors that I used for each of these. And I'm just blending that ink up with the detail brush. I'm just blending it up from the bottom. That really makes it pop and makes it look like there is a 3D element to those. So those are the three tulips. Look how pretty. All right, we have some tulip leaves and stems here. I'm coming in with the lighter shade of two different greens that I have, and I'm just making sure to get a nice all over color on them. And then to shade the tulip leaves, I'm gonna bring a darker ink in here, a darker green, and I'm gonna bring it just on that corner of the top of the leaf and then up from the bottom. And I repeated that process for all of the leaves. And now I can put the flowers together. Super easy to do, just adding some glue to the end of the stem, gluing the tulip head on there. And then for the leaves, I add a little bit of glue to the leaf I'm gonna put behind the stem. And then I can add some glue on the stem and add the other leaf. So the leaves are kind of sandwiching the stem here and you can put the leaves on different spots on the stem. You don't have to have them in the same spot front and back. So you can see I've kind of staggered my two leaves. The one on the left is up a little bit higher than the one on the right. And then I varied that throughout out all three of the tulips to get kind of some beautiful lifelike variation. For my sentiment, I'm using the Blessings of Spring stamps and dies. These are beautiful, have lots of really lovely sentiments. I wasn't sure exactly which one I wanted to use, so I'm stamping two of them out. I'm using the Intense Black ink, and I'm gonna stamp this twice just so I can make sure that that black sentiment is really nice and bold on my white cardstock. Oftentimes when I'm not sure what sentiment I want to use, I will stamp more than one, and then I just put the extra back in my little storage bag, and I have it for another time. Now something fun about the Honey Bee Stamps packaging is that most of the time when you're looking to find the die that you want to go with the stamp, it's in the coordinating spot where the stamp is on the stamp set. So it makes it pretty easy to find the die that goes with the particular sentiment that you're cutting out. Next, I'm using Sandy's Garden 3D Embossing Folder. This is absolutely gorgeous. I have an A2 size piece of cardstock, so that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and look at all of that beautiful detail. I'm gonna cut off about a quarter of an inch all the way around, and now I'm gonna use some liquid glue here to glue it to my card base. And you may be wondering why I cut it down. I just like having a border on my cards, even if it's white on white, I often will add a small border all the way around by cutting down my card panel. Next, I'm gonna put my sentiment together and you can see I went ahead and die cut a piece of black cardstock. And what I'm gonna do is create a small shadow underneath my sentiment. And you do that by just slightly offsetting a different color of cardstock, usually black when you're working with white cardstock, just slightly offsetting it from your sentiment. So you can see I've got about a 16th of an inch there. Now for my tulips, I actually taped these together with some low tack tape so I could have them in the formation I wanted. And then I added some glue in order to make them hold together. I'm just using my reverse tweezers there to apply some pressure while that glue applies. Same thing with my boots. I had a little piece of repositionable tape on the back there so I knew exactly where I wanted to position them. And then I could apply some glue and put some pressure there in order to make sure they're applied. For my sentiment, I have backed it with some black adhesive foam squares and I'm gonna put it down towards the lower third of the card. Next, I'm taking off the tape I used to put all of my flowers together and I'm applying glue to the stems in order to make sure those are all adhered as well. And then I can clip them again with my reverse tweezers in order for that glue to dry. 
And then I can take everything off the card and I can place my umbrella. I often will put all of my stuff down before I start gluing kind of the groupings to the front of the card. So I'm putting glue all the way along the back of the umbrella as well as on the handle. And I want it to sit so that it looks like the umbrella is kind of sitting on the ground. So the handle is going to sit just right above my sentiment there. That sentiment acts as the bottom border there. So I'm bringing in some more of the darker shade of yellow and I'm using it kind of on the top left hand side of the pair of the boots. And that's because these are going to be tucked in under the umbrella. So I wanted to highlight that there is a shadow there and I can do that by adding a little bit extra of that darker ink and bringing it farther over onto the boot. Now I can glue this on top of my umbrella, taking care to tuck it in a little bit under the umbrella, but also have it placed nicely with respect to the sentiment. Next, I can apply my tulips, very easy to do. I'm just adding glue to the backmost layers here of the tulip bunch that we've created. And same kind of thing, I want it to look like it's resting on the top of the boots and then the stems are kind of sitting on the ground. So I'm gonna put it at an angle so that the stems are kind of tucked behind my sentiment there and the tulips are sitting on the top of the boot. Last but not least, I'm gonna bring in some of the new celebration pearls. I'm using this pretty pink color and that finishes off our card. I hope you guys picked up some tips and tricks today. Please be sure to like and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so that I can continue to bring you more crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.